I struggled with having a big belly for my entire life. And I finally figured out the secret. So today, I'm gonna share with you the secret to how I went from a size 24 pants, a 3X belt, to the size small, the very first size small workout legging that I have ever owned. My name is Nicole. I have lost 130 pounds. I've kept it off for over five years. Before I lost the weight, I hit my heaviest of 275 pounds. My entire life, from age five, I struggled with having a big belly. My whole childhood, my teenage years, I desperately searched for through countless magazines, did thousands of crunches, hoping and praying that one day I would wake up with a six pack because, you know, social media and magazines said, if you just do this and this, that one day your abs are gonna look abolicious. Well, I'm still waiting for that six pack. On a serious note, when I was five, I, I was so excited to start gymnastics and I was in this really cool class and I was really excited. It was my first night. I was, I still remember to this day, I was wearing a blue bodysuit, super tight. And all I could focus on was that my belly was poking out to the point where halfway through the class, I got so embarrassed in my belly at five years old that I literally sat down on the bench and said to my mom, I can't do this anymore. And I was so embarrassed to tell my mother that my belly was too big to do gymnastics that to this day, I still don't think she knows. I wanted to do this video because there is so much information going on out there right now and we recently got a comment saying, Nicole, you're looking so lean. What ab workouts are you doing to get your stomach so lean? Here's what bothers me about the internet. There's so many fit chicks out there with hundreds of thousands and millions of followers that have really good genetics that are saying, look at my abs and just do my fancy ab workouts and rub my ab cream all over your belly and you'll get a six pack like me. And it's very misleading because a lot of them don't share their diet. And I wanna tell you, countless hours, literally hours of crunches in my room every single night, my whole entire age 16, I did this. I never got a six pack. I did all the fancy moves. I didn't get nothing that looks like those chicks. Here's the secret. You can't get abs from fancy ab movements. You can't get abs from ab creams. Abs are made in the kitchen. You need to have lower body fat for abs to even poke through. I, I had to lose a ton of weight and body fat just for my abs to sort of even poke through and I don't even have a six pack. I've lost in the last two months 10 pounds and 4% body fat. I am the leanest in my stomach that I have ever been. I did not do one single crunch, one single ab exercise. I did not rub cream on my belly. I ate in a calorie deficit. Calories in, calories out. Eat less, your stomach will be flatter. I am eating between 17 to 1900 calories right now. And that is making my stomach, every morning I wake up, I'm leaner. I can't even believe I am literally standing, talking to you in a size small legging right now because I've never been a small in my entire life. My waist, I've never felt comfortable wearing this, any outfit like this on camera before. And it's because not ab workouts, diet. You can follow whoever you want. It's your choice. If you like those fitness girls, that's cool. I follow some of them, but if they're promoting ab workouts and rubbing cream on yourself and they're not talking about you need to have less body fat and you need to eat less and be in a calorie deficit to have abs. They're full of it. They might be full of abs, but they're full of something else too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys and I know the struggle. And when I got that comment and that girl asking like, what, 
What workouts did you do? Me and Nicole both kind of looked at each other and said, oh no, another one is lost to the dark side of ab moves and crunches. It pissed me off, to be honest, because it drives me nuts that there are people out there that are just showing their abs and not saying that it you don't do ab moves. And I did that. I you can do them. They're not going to change your physique. You can do them, but I did them. And all I ended up with was a sore back and a sore neck. And it's diet. Literally, I don't train abs. And this is the smallest my stomach has ever been. So it's, it's honestly, it's what you eat. So if you like doing ab workouts and following ab people, that is cool. Do it. Do what you want. But if you hate doing ab workouts and you've been doing them thinking you're going to get a six pack, you're not. Eat what you like, but be in a caloric deficit. Just eat less of what you like and your stomach will be flatter. That's what I did. And I've kept the weight off. I've gotten even leaner since I lost 130 pounds. We love you guys and we want the best for you. So do what's best for you. Follow who you want, but just know Abs are made in the kitchen, not doing this, not doing this. This is fun, but it ain't gonna get you a six pack. And if you wanna know what to eat and you're confused, we have two complete weight loss guides sharing exactly what we ate to lose the first and next 50 pounds. Because Kyle, my husband behind the camera, has also lost 130 pounds and kept it off for five years. Or if you don't wanna buy those guides, you can watch over 900 videos that we have about food. And click these two videos now, next, after this video. And like, subscribe, do the bell, share this. Get this out there, it's important because we're telling you what you need to hear, not what you want because we love you and we care about you. So I'm gonna frog it until you do all that stuff. Love ya, peace, go. Yes, 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 this is my small frog in a fit. Mm. Nailed it, <laughs> love you. And actually, what Nicole just did there, cardio, will get you abs faster than crunches. Oh yes, it will, I do an hour a day. Bye. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>